Uh, Shalom, all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahushai, Bashim, Kakadash. Uh, double honors to Elder Apostle Great Millstone. It's that takes you all, I can teach all truth and sincerity. <clears throat> uh, this is going to be called Yahweh. Uh, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahushai's name is important. Because uh, <clears throat> basically, that name is going to basically be magnified above every name once. Um, once the children of Israel, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and the Americans uh, get delivered from the land of the north. Uh, that name is going to be, um, what's the word? Um, that name is going to be praised. It's going to be um, exalted, you know. Um, and that name is going to be uh, the name that's going to be uh, known in the kingdom, you know. Um, and, you know, and it's going to be known all over the earth that Yahweh, uh, Yahweh Yahshai delivered the children of Israel, uh, the Yahweh Bashin Yahshai destroyed Babylon, Yahweh Bashin Yahshai, um, came and brought, you know, brought the earth back to righteousness, you know, but anyway, this is, um, Zechariah 14 and verse 9 says, And the Lord shall be king over all the earth, and in that day shall there be one Lord and his name one. So, Yahweh shall be king. Yahweh um, shall be king over the earth. Because <clears throat> Yahweh is um, going to be over the earth, and Yahweh is going to be ruling. On the uh, the uh, throne over Israel and over the entire earth, because Yahweh Shai is going to come back um, and be, you know, and this is his kingdom on the earth, because Yahweh Shai has um, his uh, his praise, honor, and glory in the heavens. He's going to get his praise, honor, and glory on the earth when he comes back to take down Esau and you other nations out of your rulership. But <clears throat> the most high is gonna be um one you know, Yahweh Shah is under Yahweh and the influence of the Heavenly Father is gonna be on the earth in righteousness, you know. <clears throat> so anyway, to move on to the next scripture is um uh Psalms. I'm gonna go to Psalms uh one one eleven in verse 9, it's Psalms 111, and verse uh, 9 says, He sent redemption unto his people. He hath commanded his commandment forever. Holy and reverence is his name. <clears throat> and redemption is only for Israel, which is the Heavenly Father's people, which are the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and the Americans, and those, those, um, that those those individuals that come from that bloodline that may look like the other nations, that may look like a, a Asian, uh, a Moabite or an Ammonite or or a, a Hamite or or um, East Indian Elamite or uh, Edomite. You might look like Edomite, but your father is a, is an Israelite. You may look like uh, you may look like any heathen nation. You could you could look like Japheth. But your father, your father's lineage goes back to it, to uh, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. But but you're an Israelite if your father's line goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, you know. And twelve patriarchs, you know. You know. But anyway, <clears throat> but um, I didn't finish that. Um, he says. He sent redemption unto his people, which is Israel. He have commanded his com his covenant forever, and that's true. Um, <clears throat> it says, "Holy and reverence is his name." So, it's ho the heavenly Father's name is holy, which means separate, and his name is is to be reverence. His name is is to be uh, <clears throat> to be honored, you know, because his name is above every name. Uh, 
you know. He's the most high, you know. Uh, I'm gonna go to um. I'm gonna go uh, to to uh, Proverbs. This is Proverbs thirty. In verse four, it says, "Who have ascended up into heaven, or descended? Who have gathered in the wind in his fist? Who have bound the waters in a garment? Who have established all the ends of the earth? What is his name? What is his name, and what is his son's name? If thou canst tell." <clears throat> and this is um a question because. Um, I'll read that over. This is Proverbs 30 and 4. It says, Who have ascended up into heaven or descended? Who have gathered the winds in his fists? Who have um, bound the waters in a garment? Who have established all the ends of the earth? What is his name and what is his son's name? This is asking a question. What is the name of the man, of the person that did this, you know? Um... Uh, what is his son's name? Because he, he also had a son. And, he, you know, it says in Scripture that the Heavenly Fathers, uh, that um, I send an angel uh, to you. His name, my name is in him. Um, I believe that's in, um, I think, Deuteronomy. If I'm not butchering it. Um, it uh, talks about how... I send forth my angel. He'll he'll have my name in him, because um, the name of the heavenly Father is Yahweh, and the name of his son is Yahweh Shai. Um, and those names are important to know for salvation, because it says the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it safe. Um, <clears throat> it's important to know the name of the Lord, because you can, you know, pray to that name and uh, repent to that. To the Heavenly Father through knowing His name, and you can also be uh, saved and protected in the day of destruction if you know the true and holy name and, and you know of the Heavenly Father, you know, and you uh, respect and, and honor and, and show uh, reverence to that that name. You don't um, take the name of the Lord in vain, you know. Uh, anyway. Uh, I'm gonna go to. Uh, I'm gonna go to. Uh, I'm gonna go to Zechariah thirteen. Let me see Zechariah thirteen. This is Zechariah thirteen and eight. It says, "It shall come to pass that." In all the land, say if you howl two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. So two thirds of our people have to die um, on this side, you know, but they'll come back in the kingdom. But anyway, verse nine says, I will bring the third part through the fire. That's the one third and we'll refine them as as uh, that's the one third elect. We'll find them as silver is refined. And will try them as gold is tried. They shall call on my name and I sh I will hear them. I will say it is my people and they shall say Yahweh is my power. And uh, the elect of the nation of Israel. Um, there's um, two, 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 um, two, two, two uh, sets of Israelites. The Israel of God, which are the elect. And the one third of the nation of Israel, and, and the the two thirds, which are are the wicked Israelites, that are going to get destroyed. You know, so and the Most High is going to save and deliver the one third and the elect, and they're going to, you know, um, call on the name of the Lord and be protected in that day when all destruction is going down. You know, and those that uh, continue in their wickedness and didn't want to. Um, Show how bashing y'all shy and change their ways, um, they are going to get destroyed, you know. Um, 
So I'm gonna go to um, Proverbs, Proverbs 18 and 10. Since I uh, said this already, this is um, Proverbs 18 and 10. The name of Yahweh is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it and is safe. So the name of the Lord is a strong tower. Um, the righteous servants, uh, if you run <clears throat> towards the name of the Lord and you uh, <clears throat> follow uh, his ways, you know, he'll protect you <clears throat> in the day of trouble. You know, he'll, he'll uh, like he says, he'll give his angels charge over thee to keep thee out, out of, out of, uh, to keep thee from being destroyed. Uh, so I'm going to say all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bashan, Yahshai, Bashan, Kakadash, Devon, the Elder Apostle, Great Millstone. And salutation, you all can teach all truth, sincerity, and shalom.